What's going on YouTube? It's Giga here bringing you some more Series 13 Battles with Live commentary. Today we are checking out this team featuring Mew from uh, Pokesports Podcast. For those of you that haven't checked out Pokesports Podcast, definitely do. It's got some really, really great content on there. A uh, lot of fun content creators, love working with them. Um, we'll leave their stuff either up above or down below. Uh, so definitely make sure to check it out. Really cool team builder and really excited to, to try this team out. So looking at the team, first of all, we do have Kyurem. Um, I'm a very big Kyurem fan. I'm very partial to it. I think Kyurem White's awesome. Uh, and so this is uh, a pretty standard set, right? Blizzard, Freeze Dry, Earth, Power, Protect. Actually, a little bit interesting, right? You you have um, the double ice type. Normally people only run one with Draco Meteor. And I think that this is cool because it means that Kyurem functions pretty well outside of Max, right? Being able to do things like Kyogre or potentially a Gastrodon. Like there are a lot of options that having Freeze Dry and Blizzard gives you that you don't normally have. Uh, so next up is Mew. So this is this is the one that I'm really excited about. Um, Imprison, Transform, Trick Room, Ally Switch. So this is really cool in the fact that uh, you can use Imprison and then transform uh, into your opponent to steal all of their moves, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, you also do have Imprison, Trick Room to, to stop that potential Trick Room, uh, as well as Ally Switch, just, you know, to have some fun with it. Uh, next up is Indeedee. Um, so this is a, a pretty standard uh, Indeedee, right? It's got um, that follow me, help, uh, helping hand support, as well as expanding force to take advantage of the terrain. Uh, next up, we have Whimsicott. So we have a, a lot of options for speed control, right? We have the ability to stop the trick room with Imprison, as well as setting up a Tailwind of our own. Um, we also do have Sunny Day for our Charizard, as well as helping hand just to really hit hard. And then finally, Moonblast to give us some damage itself. Uh, next up, Charizard. There's really not much to say here. Um, we have Charty Berry to, to survive the opposing Charizard, but other than that, we're trying to hit as hard as we can with Hurricane, Blast Burn, and Ancient Power. Uh, finally, we have Specs Rex, one of my favorites. I think it's very near and dear to my heart. You have Astral Barrage, Snarl, Expanding Force, and Trick, just hitting really hard, really fast with those helping hands. Uh, and you also have Trick in order to, you know, give someone else a, a, a focus uh, or a choice flex and, and see how they like it. Uh, so this is the team. We have the paste on the screen, or the code on the screen, We'll have the pace in the description. And with that, let's just get rocking and rolling and move into the first game. All right, battle number one, and it is Zacian Groudon, Yveltal with Kyurem, Whimsicott, and an Incineroar. So um, a lot of si scary stuff here. I think Kyurem is really good. Uh, the main issue though, is the fact that we don't have uh, Max Wormwind for my opponent's Max Wormwind. But I think uh, Kyurem Whimsicott is, is uh, going to be really great here. We're bringing Mew, it's the Mew episode. And then finally is a question of what do we want in the back? Um, Indeedee, probably not. We do need a little bit of offense. Um, so I'm gonna bring Calyrex. I think my sort of game plan right now is get rid of your Kyurem and then go from there. Uh, we can do things like go for a Protect um, and fire off a, a Moonblast. So we have a lot of options. And as we're getting into this, uh, definitely make sure to subscribe. You know, we are working our way towards a billion subscribers. And we really can't get there without you. Um, we're getting closer every single day. Uh, and it would be really awesome to be the, the first Pokemon YouTuber to get a billion subs. So, you know, I think we, I really think we can do it. Uh, and if anyone's got a shot, I think I have the best one. Um, not really sure. I mean, yeah, I think my opponent does have a lot of options for sure, right? Um, what do you want to go with here? This is a, a really tricky um, sort of situation. So let's see what they opt for. I think we are um, in really good shape regardless. So. Yeah, we, we can kind of play around with that and, and let's let's just see um, what the they go with and then we can uh, adjust accordingly. But I feel like this is the strongest lead, like I said, once we get rid of Yveltal, which definitely should be coming. Calyrex should be in a position to, to clean up pretty easily, especially if we can get damage onto um, their Zashian, right? We should be able to one-shot everything. And perfect, we are gonna see a lead of Yveltal. Um, so this is exactly what I wanted. Um, we have a Whimsicott uh, on the other side as well. We have access to Helping Hand. So I'm gonna just go for, um, I'm gonna go for a Hailstorm. I'm gonna just set up a Tailwind. I think even even if you're gonna switch out into Zacian uh, or something that wants to take uh, this hit, which is really just Zacian, we're still gonna do a massive amount of damage. And the, and the goal at this point is is just to damage that Yveltal, which is going to max here. Um, so we could, what, we could see a potential protect with a Moonblast um, from the Whimsicott, just trying to get some chip. But my, like I said, my chief objective right now uh, is getting rid of this Yveltal. Um, we have a Hailstorm, right? And so what that'll do is that will 
uh, what's it called? Setting up a hailstorm will also make sure where it's to break the sash. Um, there is, I mean, okay. No, okay, I was going to say if you're trick eject button, but that's not going to matter because we're going to set up Tailwind. Uh, so luckily, we don't have to worry about that option uh, too, too much, but we could potentially see something like a, a, a protect and a trick. So max guard is really what I'm most afraid of as we're going to see no, um, what's it called? No uh, Tailwind, but unfortunately, we are going to lose the speed tie uh, as they are going to be able to set up an Airstream onto um, our little Whimsicott, which is going to go down to the um, the hail, which is you know really not good for us. Um, we need we need to KO this Yveltal. Uh, we don't really have a backup, so definitely unfortunate to to lose that speed tie. I don't actually know if it's a speed tie. I don't. I should have looked at the paste. Um, okay, so the Yveltal the Yveltal is going to go down to hail, which um, I'm okay with this trade. Am I okay with this trade? I'm. Okay, uh, this trade is fine. Um, oh, you are safety goggles. I don't like that. Mm. Okay, we're gonna bring up Mew here. Um, we're gonna go for a hailstorm. We're gonna go for the trick room expecting, uh, what's it called? We're gonna go for the trick room expecting a tailwind here. Uh, and I think if we can set that up, we should be in good shape. Um, I expect you probably, okay, you probably want to target into the Kyurem, right? That's my thought process. Uh, we could see a, a taunt come out from the, the Whimsicott, but luckily we are Mental Herb. So that will be able to save us as we will see. Yeah, it is going to indeed be that taunt, which is fine with me, right? We, we will be able to um, shake it off thanks to the, the Mental Herb. Um, and the big question now is, can Mew survive this turn? As we are going to see the darkness, I'm really hoping, unfortunately, it does go into Mew. Uh, so, you know, not ideal here, uh, but yeah, that, that critical hit really not helping. We, we we don't get to show off Mew in the first video as much as I, I, I obviously would like to. Um, but, you know, we will be able to, to fire off a Hailstorm and hopefully... Hopefully Calyrex can, can sweep. We still have a turn of max, which is uh, going to be really beneficial. The only issue though is, right, we are locked in with a choice specs Calyrex that, um, okay, uh, that's fine, right? There, There is no um, speed boost for my opponent right now. So we can very easily just click Astro Barrage, um, right? If you go for a Tailwind, let's say you bring out Zashi and go for a Tailwind, uh, you can only KO one thing, um, which we are going to see. But whereas we have, uh, we don't actually get the guaranteed knockout with okay so you, you definitely are going for a tailwind there there is no my there's no doubt in my mind that you are clicking ta you have to click tailwind um so we are going to go for we're just going to go for a, a quake um onto the zashian as well as just go for um an astro barrage right we we really don't have another choice i'm assuming that you're going to um tailwind and probably go for actually it could go either way Right, I could see you um, going for a Behemoth Blade uh, onto the Kyurem with the idea that you will live the hit from, from uh, Calyrex. As we will see the blade, let's see where it's gonna go. I think either way, it's pretty bad for us. Um, it's gonna go into the Kyurem, right? So this this makes sense. Um, Kyurem definitely is not going to survive that. Uh, if, we get the, if we get the crit though with our um, Astro Barrage, I think they still have a Mew, or they still have a Calyrex of their own in the back. So that's probably not good for us. Um, we at least, you know, get to see my opponents last if we don't KO this Ashian. Um, dude, if we had Protect right now, we would be golden. Um, because we are going to just faint to an Astro Barrage the next turn. Um, so a little bit, you know, a little bit of an unfortunate start here. Um, yeah, I don't, I unfortunately don't think we're going to be able uh, to come back from, from this position, especially, yeah, as the last one is going to be that Groudon. Um, I don't think Groudon really matters at this point, but, um, you know, we'll, we'll click the Astro Barrage, uh, and, and just reflect, um, on our decisions that led us to this point. So, you know, it's always definitely a, a little bit unfortunate to lose, especially like given, given how timing works, I think we're only realistically going to have one, 
uh, episode for the remaining restricted because I'm going to be our mythicals because I'm going to be gone uh, for a couple days. And like I said, I really want to to use all of them. So, um, you know, we still have two more games left with Mew. I want to make sure that we can do Mew justice. Um, but yeah, so so unfortunate loss. It is what it is. But, you know, let's just keep rocking and rolling and move to the next one. All right, battle number two, and it is Kyogre Zacian with, uh, what is that thing? Xerneas, Groudon, a Reshiram, and Grimmsnarl. So, uh, in all honesty, uh, Indeedee Calyrex goes very, very hard here. Um, I'm going to definitely, like I said, this is the Mew episode. We are bringing Mew. Um, and then we probably bring Kyurem. Yeah, let's do that. Um, a helping hand should be more, a uh, helping hand Astro Barrage should be enough to, to KO. Um, Zashi and we can go for a follow me if needed. So we, we have options. Um, I don't know if Mew is the best choice here. Do I care? Probably not. Should I care? Probably. Um, but you know, I want to use Mew and, and we're going to do it. Um, we're going to take Grimstone Kyogre. So that's, that's fine with me. Um, if that's the case, we want to, uh, it's tricky because it's okay. It's tricky because I want to follow me. So here's my question. Do I think expanding force, helping hand expanding force is going to be enough to KO this Kyogre. I don't know. Let's go for a helping hand. Let's go for an expanding force uh, onto this Kyogre. It could also be uh, Scarf Ogre, which um, would be bad for me, right? If you just outspeed me and go for um, a Max Geyser, none of this really matters. We should see a light screen. Um, so now, yeah, the, the big moment first, probably a light screen going to come up. Uh, and then, okay, so no light screen, interestingly. Um, instead, opting immediately for that spirit break, as we will uh, one-shot the Kyogre. So I'm I'm actually really fine with this trade, um, right? As we are going to get that Grim May boost. So we are going to uh, ignore the spirit break drop. So we are going to just stay at neutral. Um, we take that not as well as I would like, but uh, in all honesty, it doesn't matter, right? That helping hand expanding force, uh, just doing so much damage. Um, and so whatever is going to come out here, going to take a lot. Uh, we still have access to Kyurem in the back as well as Mew. So um, we, you know, we still have a, a good amount of things to work with. Uh, and I really like that. And especially if we can get Mew right with, um... okay, so it's going to be uh, a Groudon here. And so same, I think the, the, the same idea here, right? Um, we do just need to be a little bit weary of the fact that Grimstar like actually is pretty threatening. Um, but I'm very fine just to go for this. Uh, unless you're Assault Vest Groudon, I think we should probably still get the knockout here. Um, we could have gone for a follow me to play it safe. Uh, okay, so with the max, with the max, you probably will survive. Um, but that's fine, right? We, we have Kyurem in the back. Um, and then at that point, we can start going for um, follow me's with the MD just to, to do some redirection. Uh, and that should put us in a, a pretty good spot where we can go for uh, a Hailstorm to, to get some knockouts that way. So... Um, we could see, uh, what's it called? There are a couple things that we could see, like we could see Max Quakes, which is a little bit scary, but not the end of the world. Um, as we're gonna see, finally the light screen coming up. Let's see how much uh, this helping hand boosted attack is going to do. It should do a, a really solid chunk in the crowd on. Um, that's that's not a lot. I'm You're definitely a salt vest. Uh, okay, so. Bye bye Calyrex, you tried your best. Um, so we have options. We could bring out Mew, right? No, we have to bring out we have to bring out Kyurem. Um, I don't think that there there is another option here. Um, we definitely want Kyurem. We definitely want um, to helping him. Do we want a helping him Blizzard, or do we want to? I think okay. So I think we have to follow me um, because we're gonna eat a Spirit Break. And that's like what I really don't want to do, because we don't have we don't have any damage output from you, um, other than transforming, uh, which is fine. Okay, that's actually fine. 
right? Because we can uh, imprison, we can imprison the, the Grimmsnarl, survive, transform into it, and then use Spirit Break to to uh, knock it out when it's forced to struggle. Uh, so we, we technically do have an option. Um, so I think helping, like this is stab super effective, life orb boosted, max hailstorm with helping hand. Like this should hopefully do a lot to crowd on. Um, I hate everything. I really hate this game. I hate this game so much. Um, we might, okay, we might have to transform into Groudon, it looks like. Uh, Steel Spike going to be revealed here. So definitely confirming that Assault Vest. Um, luckily, we are going to be able to take that. So that's um, a really nice change. You're only going to get plus one uh, in your special defense boost. And so at this point, I think um, the optimal play with that Spirit Break, that's just a little, I don't like that. Um, Okay, let's think about this, right? Um, okay, okay, at this range, at this range, we definitely should be able to get the knockout with Hailstorm. So I'm gonna go for a follow me here. Um, we're, I mean, we're hitting significantly weaker, um, right? We are at minus one, we don't have the helping hand. Um, but if we can get rid of Okay, if we can get rid of Grimmsnarl, I think we have a chance. I mean, not Grimmsnarl, Groudon. Um, because we'll still have a turn of max left. Uh, please go down, please go down, please go down. Okay, perfect. I, I had to like zoom in and look there because I wasn't sure if it got knocked out. Um, this is good for us, right? And Didi, um, we are pretty low on Kirim, unfortunately, but the Spirit Break going to come out here. Um, and so we just need to KO, we just need to KO the thing that is not. Um, Grimmsnarl. Um, I'm hoping it's like an easy one shot. I don't think it will be just like I said, due to the, the fact that we are um, super low. Uh, we could, yeah, it's going to be Zacian. So unfortunately, okay. So I think what's going to happen here is I think we're going to get a double knockout. Um, we are going to go for the follow me. We have to go for the follow me here. Um, we go for the follow me here and then we go for um, a quake onto the Zacian. Um, if we get the crit, I mean, we, we need the crit. There's no other option. Um, we need to, to critical hit this, um, this Sashian. What could happen, right, is you could protect in Spirit Break, which would be great for me, um, which you're not going to do. You're definitely just going to be Emoth Blade. Um, all right, so come on. Come on, Kiram. I need you to critical hit. If you crit, we win. That's That's just what it is. Um, if you critical hit the Zacian, we win. If you don't, we don't. Um, you know, which would be really unfortunate. I, I really would like uh, Mew to do something other than just get one shot. Um, survey said, yeah, that's just not happening. Um, we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose Kurum here to um, what's it called? A Spirit Break. Uh, yeah, we're, we are so low here. Um, the Spirit Break going to come out. Just finish us off. Um, you know, we. No, I was going to say, I was wondering if we could have just gone for, like, um, an Astro Barrage, and if that would have done it. I don't think we would have KO'd the Kyogre, uh, but it looked like it was going for a Water Spout. So, in all honesty, we probably should have uh, gone for something else. Um, we're going to bring out Mew here. So, okay, we have we don't have a chance, because we have to not only take a Spirit Break, we also have to take um, a Behemoth Blade. So... I mean, okay, what we can do is we can try to transform into the Zacian. Um, that gives us a resistance to the Spirit Break, so we can potentially survive both. Then we can be faster. Um, yeah, okay, that's... We have to survive... Oh, just kidding. Oh, okay, okay, big start. Um, let's see how much this Behemoth Blade does. Um, it's probably going to one-shot. Okay, 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 okay. Um, we're going to become Zacian, right? If you miss another, okay, if you miss another um, T-Wave, if you miss another T-Wave and we win the speed tie, um, we have a chance, right? That is that is our out. Um, we are going to click Behemoth Blade onto the Zacian. Um, you could also just protect to, to play it safe, you know? Like, that's an option. I don't like that option. Um, okay, okay, okay. Wait, wait, wait. We KO the Zacian. 
Um, we are going to take a lot of damage from the Spirit Break, but if if we survive, okay, if we survive this, come on, survive, and then Hail ends. Okay, Hail stops, Hail stops. Please, come on, give me the Hail stopping. Yes, yes. Are we bringing this back? Are we about to bring this game back? I think we are. I think we are. Um, oh my goodness, are we about to bring this game back? They can, okay, they can T-Wave and pray for Paras. They're not going to do it. We're going to get the amazing animation into the Behemoth Blade, into the Grim Snarl, and we are going to be able to take that one. So, not what I expected at all. Mew absolutely coming in clutch, saving us from that one, um, and really, really letting us uh, end it strong. So, you know, not what I was expecting at all, but huge props to Mew. Uh, and with that, let's just keep rocking and rolling and play one more. All right, last battle of the day, and it is heavy trick room. It is Calyrex, Magirna, the pretty one, Dusclops, Ho-Oh, with Yveltal, and Groudon. Um, I like Curum, I like Mew. I think this is our best bet, right? Being able to fire off that in prison, uh, going to be really awesome here. Uh, let's bring Calyrex as well. Uh, I think that Astro Barrage really going to, to put in some work here. Uh, and then the question of what do we want in the back? Um, I feel like I'm going to be maxing Kyurem. Uh, I'm going to bring Charizard, actually. I don't really like Charizard, I'm going to be real here. Um, especially late game Charizard. Um, in all honesty, probably not the best. We could have led Charizard, actually. Uh, I don't think we need to. I think Kyurem is totally fine here. I'm probably going to max Kyurem and Charizard is going to be useless. Um, which makes sense. Charizard is kind of useless. I am very biased. Um, for some of you that saw my World Cup set where I lost because I missed uh, a hit with Charizard, not the base. Um, okay, so we're going to see Magirna here um, with with Dusclops. And this is a little bit scary um, because the Magirna can just max, uh, which I don't really like. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to uh, max Quake into the Magirna. Uh, and I'm going to go for an Imprison with Mew. Right, guaranteeing stopping the Trick Room is huge. You could very well max Magirna, um, but that's fine, right? If you don't, okay, if you don't max Magirna, we're in good shape. Um, we probably are gonna see, we could see like a Protect with a, a um, Trick Room or something like that, but I don't think you're gonna be able to KO um, my Mew unless you are like, what? If you're maybe for weakness policy? Um, yeah, weakness policy, Flare Cannon, um, or just, I mean, max Starfall. Um, we're gonna see an ally switch. That's totally fine with me, right? Um, we're gonna be able just to do a lot of damage and more importantly, stop um, any sort of Trick Room shenanigans. So Magirna probably gonna go for um, the Trick Room here as we, we get a, a nice little uh, stop there. Um, and interesting, oh, more importantly, right? Uh, this Mew has ally switch. Um, so we can stop you from going for ally switch the subsequent turn guaranteeing that we can transform into your Magirna, um, which is huge for us. So I'm gonna go for um, a Hailstorm onto this Dusclops. Um, and you know what? I I would like a Magirna. I would very much like a Magirna. Um, I think Magirna is fun. It's a very cool design. Uh, and even if you wanna switch out, right? Like I'm gonna copy whatever you bring in, uh, which is great for us. So we appreciate that. You can't use, uh, Pretty much any of your moves right now so we are we are we're doing great um we we are having we're having a good time that's what matters here uh we're gonna we're gonna copy something that is not a dust box and everything else is something that you know i'm fine with copying so uh being able to to definitely start off with that really gonna help us out here um as we're gonna see we're gonna see the magirna max which you know, this 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 is a way to get around what I was doing. Um, there's also the like really big factor um, that I'm going to give the Magirna a special attack boost. So you know, maybe this wasn't the best idea in hindsight, um, but we can bring out Charizard. Um, Charizard has Blast Burn. We can Blast Burn the Magirna. Um, so that's something. I'm very much expecting you to hailstorm into, or um, what's it called? Um, fairy move into my Kyurem, um, which we should potentially live. Um, we're gonna have our own Magirna. I love Magirna. 
we're gonna see a steel spike interesting um going into the mew uh we do survive critically which is awesome unfortunately though we do not get the special attack boost um of a magirna but we you know we we have our own magirna now and so that's really good for us uh, maybe they were calling the ally switch seeing that i was able to um steal that and so they're trying to head into the crypt that way um everything they have is really slow at this point they could have a Yveltal, um which is something to be wary of it is going to be crowd on so that's actually a really good position for um our charizard right being able to uh, benefit from the sun for that blast burn um uh i'm gonna hailstorm into the ground on and doesn't even have flare cannon um i'm gonna hailstorm into the ground on and i'm gonna switch out uh into charizard I think if we can uh, catch the Magirna, um, that's going to be really good for us. I also want to preserve Mew. I think um, it has a potential for sure. Also, like I said, if we can preserve um, one of our Pokemon, there's no reason to, to go for anything else. I, for a second, swear to God, I thought that that Groudon had a berry. Um, so we're going to, yeah, we're going to just easily one-shot this Groudon. Um, we now have no more Sun, which, you know, is unfortunate, right? A, a Blast Burn into that Magirna. That's so hard. It's fine. We have Specs Rex. Um, we're going to see the Steel Spike. It's going to go into the Curum. We're probably not going to take that. Okay, 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 okay. Um, huge. Huge moment right here. Um, we still have Curum. We know... Okay. Um, let's think about this. We know you have no good damage in a charge. Right? We, we can confirm that. Um, whatever you're going to bring in, let's see what it is. Uh, it's going to be, oh, we have Calyrex in the back. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's think about this. We, this is, this is actually really bad. Um, we blizzard and we blast burn the Magirna. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you snarl with your Veltal. It's gonna be just a straight sucker punch. Um, I don't like that at all. Um, um Okay, Life Orb. Life Orb confirmed on the Yveltal. Uh, I think what we do, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring out Mew. We're gonna bring out Mew. Um, we know that the Magirna doesn't have good damage onto my um What's it called? It doesn't have good damage onto my Charizard. I'm assuming we should be able to live a hit. So what I want to do here is I'm going to ally switch. I'm going to ally switch and I'm going to blast burn into the Yveltal trying to get rid of it. Um, I'm going to ally switch here. I'm going to click blast burn onto this uh, Yveltal with the hope that we get, if we get the knockout, okay, we need to get the knockout. That's just what it comes down to. Um, because we should be able to survive a hit um, from that Magirna. It can only single target, uh, and that gives us the chance to bring out Calyrex, uh, which is going to be really good for us. We do get the ally switch off. Like I said, I'm hoping for a Sucker Punch. Um, we do connect the Blast Burn. Please get the knockout onto the Siveltal. That is that is not a knockout. Um, Dark Pulse going to come out here. Going onto the Mew. Um, okay, there is... There is Life Orb um, here as well as... Okay, let's look at this. Right? There is a, a, a Life Orb here um, coming out as well as the, the Hail Chip. Um, we're going to see the Dazzling Gleam. Let's see how much this does to Charizard. Um, that... Okay. that I don't like that. Um, I really don't like that. That did way too much damage. Um, and at this point, right... Okay. Here's... Here's... No... <sighs> yeah, because you're just going to KO me with Sucker Punch. Um, and that's the issue, right? Um, okay, you could, you could misclick. That's, that's our out. Um, you could just like spam tap, um, that if we had protect, if we had protect on Calyrex, you know, that would be really nice. Um, but the issue, the issue, right, is like trick doesn't help us, um, because you attack with Magirna and it specs. Um, and, and then we just die. Uh, there's, I think no, you could, okay. You could read the protect, 
saying I'm gonna knock you out with hail chip. Uh, you're not gonna do that. And so we are just yeah, we're we're gonna go down here. So a little bit of an unfortunate run. Um, I don't know why we didn't target into the. I don't know why we didn't target into the Magirna with Max Quake instead of like KOing a Dusclops that was useless. Um, which you know is 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 my bad. I will I will take ownership of that. Um, we we should have just <laughs> gone for that. Um, so a silly a silly move on my part. Um, you know it is what it is. We'll be playing some other uh, mythicals uh, coming up soon. So with that, until next time, I hope all of you are wonderful, and I'll see you then.